This is a video on how I trim and burnish the bottom of my mugs. Um, I've got quite a speedy process for this because I throw the bottom thickness about what I want the final thickness to be. So all I'm looking to do is just level across and then define a foot and then burnish the whole thing smooth, which saves sanding later. So tools are Giff and Grip, just got a standard cheap loop trimming tool, uh, the Zeem Ball modelling tools and a firm mud tools rib and a soft rib. Um, and all I do is I trim uh, just around the foot because there's a little bit of clay left um, that I couldn't trim off as I was throwing. Uh, and then trim across the base and round off, define a slight deeper edge for the foot. And then I use the firm rib to burnish the clay and this compresses and smooths it out and when I get onto the edge bit which you'll be able to see a bit more clearly you can hopefully see it turn glossy and that is from compressing the clay so that um, the surface polishes essentially and because this clay doesn't have much grog in it it'll stay that way throughout the rest of the flight so you don't need to sand it much at all um, I want my pieces so this is a functional foot um, and there's a few things that I want from it. I don't want too much of a defined foot because that just fills with water in the dishwasher and doesn't dry out. Uh, but you do want a raised foot ring because uh, if it's flat across the bottom then it can rock more easily if it's placed on a slightly uneven surface. If it's got a foot ring it will always sit on the outer edge. Um, so what I do is I use the ball tool to model, to modeling tool to define a foot by just pressing down into it like that, which means that it now steps slightly onto that flat in a bit. I will also, while I'm doing it, use the ball tool to put a little um, spiral in the centre because it looks nice, and then make sure there's a smooth transition, and then use the soft rib to just finish that up and make sure that everything's nice and rounded and smooth. And I'm left with a rounded, burnished foot um, with that spire in the middle. And because this is a mug, I won't put my logo stamp on it. If it was a tumbler, I'd stamp it at this point. Um, and that's it. That's all I do. It's really quick and easy. If I'm not talking as I do it, it takes about 60 seconds per mug. But you get a nice, smooth, functional foot. Um, and it's really easy to just rattle through a batch of mugs this way. There's not, there's nothing too involved. You're not taking much clay off, as you saw. So I, that means there's not a lot of reclaim. Um, so I can throw with essentially the final weight of clay. And um, yeah, it's just a, a quick and easy way of doing it.